Well, good afternoon, scholars, or good morning, whenever you're watching this. I have a great story that I want to read for you today. It's called Prairie Chicken Little. As you listen to the story, I want you to think about what is happening in the text. Can you tell the characters, the setting, the beginning, middle, and end? And how would you describe the characters? Let's think about that as we read the text today. Prairie Chicken Little. Out on the grasslands where bison roam, Mary McBlicken, the prairie chicken, was a stretch scratching for her breakfast when all of a sudden she heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Oh no, what could it be? Oh no, she exclaimed, a stampede's a coming. I need to hightail it back to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. They'll know what to do. So away Mary ran, lickety splickety, as fast as her little prairie chicken legs could carry her. Hmm, she said there was going to be a stampede. I know that a stampede is when there's a herd of animals running and you may get stepped on or hurt. So I think she's trying to make sure that everyone else is safe. On her way to the ranch, Mary came upon Jeffrey Snog, the prairie dog, who was soaking up some sunshine. Good morning to you, barked Jeffrey. No time for good mornings, warned Mary. A stampede's a coming. How do you know that this is so, asked Jeffrey. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Jeffrey. Come on with me to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hit the trail, barked Jeffrey, and away the pair ran, lickety splickety toward the ranch. Soon they met Bo Grabbit, the Jack Rabbit, who was nibbling on some sweet grass. Where are you two going in such a hurry, he asked. A stampede to come and said Mary. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. How do you know that this is so, asked Bo. Well, I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede. Yes, indeed, said Bo. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hop to it then, said Bo. And they lit off across the prairie, lickety splickety, toward the ranch. Before long, the trio came across June Spark, the meadow lark. See that bird? Who was building her nest in the tall prairie grass. What's going on? asked June. A stampede's a coming, corrals the trio. How do you know that this is so? asked June. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede? Yes, indeed, said June. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. What are we waiting for, Chirp June? And away they all flew, lickety swickety toward the ranch. It wasn't long before Slim Brody, the sly coyote, spotted them making their way across the prairie. Well, hello there, my fine feathered and furry friends. What's the big rush? A stampede's a coming. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, said Mary. It's your lucky day, said Slim. I just happen to know a shortcut. Uh-oh. Do you guys trust this Slim? Do you think he is trustworthy or is he sly like the fox in our other story? Let's read to find out. He had no intention of taking them to the ranch. Instead, he led them across the plain. He led them over a hill, through a pass, around a bend, and down a gully to the entrance of his den. Uh-oh. What's this, Squawk Mary? This, snarled Slim, is a passage to the shortcut. He flashed a toothy smile and closed in on Mary McBooken and the others. The fine feathered and furry friends all started clucking and barking and thumping and chirping as loud as they could. Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan heard the ruckus and they came charging across the prairie toward the den. Dan made a beeline for Slim and Brody and chased that coyote lickety-splickety far, far